Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's see what his other two decks are like, shall we? Sure! I will go with second in line, water and fighting deck, because I did a lightning and fire deck last part. So, water and fighting deck may very well give my deck some ire, because most of the Pokémon I have are fire, <laughs> but we'll see. Because, you know, fire Pokémon have quite a bit of power, so they might just be able to muscle through whatever he's got. Oh! <laughs> Even though I only got that one basic Pokémon, it might be all I need. <laughs> nah, that's not true. Okay, it's good that he got the only one himself. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> And yeah, I could have knocked out that Staryu in just two turns. But alas, not gonna happen. Another plus power would be nice to uh, combine with that plus power and just knock out Staryu right off the bat. Now, wouldn't it? <laughs> hmm. It is not meant to be, I guess. So let's just put it on there and do a little jabby jab. Just a little right across the lip. If Staryu has a lip. <laughs> Probably gonna do another, or he's gonna switch. No, nope, not gonna switch, it's gonna slap away. Okay. Um, Rattata. And I'll set up for the future with an energy removal and finish off Star You. And see, that's one of the uh, powers of Hitmonchan, I guess you could say, that isn't really a power power. But it's the thing of that it has so much HP and it does more damage typically than most other poke basic Pokémon. So it, it just outlasts basic Pokémon. <laughs> and now I'm gonna have a little bit extra to do a little bit more damage on Machop. Uh, sound good? Good. Okay, I'll plop that on there. And I might as well use the plus power. Because uh, my, it's going down next turn anyway. And... Jab! Whoa! And hopefully I, get, I uh, get Eradicate, that would be pretty nice. But I can still knock out Machop with a, uh, you know, Rat Rattata. Although it's not ideal, because, you know, he, he might put something out that'll be super effective against Rattata next turn and KO it. But we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm obviously going to Professor Oak here, because I don't really have... Um, oh, much in my arsenal going on here. Uh, no Eradicate, that's unfortunate. And he's got another fighting Pokémon in the wings, such as the, on, in the, on the bench, waiting to pop out. So I'll get a Magmar going here, and do a bite. Yeah, I was just basically powering up Rattata out of just blind faith. Oh, I was gonna say off of blind faith that I'll get Eradicate somewhere, but I didn't know if I would actually get one. I just figured since I have a couple copies, it might work out. Anyway, now that I have one... <laughs> and now I'm gonna energy removal Sandshrew. Give that guy a little bit of trouble. Put that on Magmar. And... 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 I guess that too. <laughs> and bite their Super Fang will work just as well. Next turn, go! Oh, switching. I had a feeling that was coming because it's a fighting Pokémon. Let's put that on Machop. Bite! Mouse eating mouse. Cannibalism. Well, kind of. <laughs> they aren't exactly the same species, but they are a kind of rodent-type thing. Um, I'm good. <laughs> Just bite. Save my energy for later. Another Machop. Good. And oh, oh, it's his last. So that means I win this turn! Yeehaw! Let's see what I can do for fun! Let's max out our entire hand! Yes! That's all I can play, huh? Well, I even maxed out the entire bench. Anyway, bite, and it's for the win! <laughs> Whew. Oh yeah! The plus power that I didn't even need. But it's nice to have it in case I do need it. And of course! Always get energy cards from him. Always. Always. <laughs> Alright, one more deck. The Grass and Psychic deck. Ready? Steady? Go! 
I guess we're going to be kind of like trading blows here, because his grass Pokemon are weak against my fire, and my fighting are weak against his psychic. So this could be a back and forth match. Uh, Kangaskhan will resist psychic Pokemon. I might want to lead with that first, just to throw him off. No, bench that, bench that, and bench that. Looks like he will absolutely have to knock out all my Pokemon in order to win this one, if he's going to win this one. And yep, you can't do a pound attack. I mean, you could, but it's not going to do much. And I'm going to fetch a card from my deck here. <laughs> and awesome. That's why I like Kangaskhan, um, because it allows you to uh, grab cards out of your deck that you wouldn't or otherwise have drawn in the turn. It does speed up the, you know, if your deck is going to be stalled out by something, but it's still all oh, issue confusion. That's not pretty. Now I have a decision. Should I just keep trying to fetch cards? Or should I just end off my turns and stall? I'm thinking of just... Yeah. Well, I definitely need to power up somebody first. Uh, Alright, I'll try another fetch. Yeah! Because uh, confusion damage is the only way that Drowsy is going to be able to do damage to uh, uh, Kangaskhan. So, yeah, that's all I was thinking. Eh, should I do it or should I not? Because I've essentially got a perfect wall for uh, Drowsy if I choose not to attack. But, you know, it's, it's nice to get some extra cards. Aw, oh, poopers. <laughs> yeah, it's confusion damage, you do 20 to yourself. If you flip tails. Alas. Yeah, but I think the cards will be worth a little bit of damage that I'll be getting from uh, uh, confusion here and there, I suppose. Mm, Alright. Come on, Charmeleon. Come on, Charmeleon. Uh, ooh! -ho -ho! Well, that's not Charmeleon, but that's a pretty nice substitute. <laughs> okay, now he's going to be able to do some damage. Because he's got the... Oh, he's going to use Call for Family instead, really? That's interesting. Considering that I don't think he has all that many Nidoran females. <laughs> anyway, definitely going on the bench. Gotta get that Magmar ready to go, because you know I love that version of Magmar. Yeah, I got another card. <laughs> oh, another Magmar. For the future, I suppose. And uh, I guess this, come to think of it, this grass Pokemon isn't weak against fire. It's uh, the quote-unquote science type of grass Pokemon, and uh, got 20 damage from those Fury Swipes there. Hmm, Raticates. Nothing. I thought I had a Rattata. Maybe I was thinking in the last game. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I should, like, Super Energy Removal something that he's got. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, for now, I'll just fetch. Or at least try to. Okay. <laughs> You never know if that confusion will, uh, work in his favor. Hmm. I was thinking if I took 20... Uh-oh. If I took 20 damage, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Uh, that was actually a bad decision for him to evolve there. Hello, Arcanine. How's it going? <laughs> that is... Sweet. Uh, but yeah, Nidorina requires... Three to do the double kick thing, and yeah, that, so that wasn't a really good plan of his. Although, I guess it does increase his, the HP and whatnot. Uh, eh, nah. I don't know, I, I, I would have still went with the Fury Swipes. I think, though, now that I know, it requires quite a bit. <laughs> Just energy removal those. And keep trying to fetch. Yeah! Woo! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> uh, let's see what we get. Fire energy. That's good for our canine. For the inevitable future sweep. And... Oh! Finally got a tails flip again. You knew it was coming! I knew it was coming! The coin flips have been pretty generous to me so far, though, so I'm not really complaining too much about that. Ooh, another arcanine. But uh, I don't really have another Growlithe to slap it on right away. And fetch! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Give me those cards! I'm feeling greedy like Wario! <laughs> Rattata. Now I could use the Raticate, but my dead. 
the bench is full and no, oh, forget it. It's fine. <laughs> it's not like I, I'll have to discard my hand with something. Or will I? <laughs> and put that on our canine for the future and oh. Um, once Kangaskhan inev inevitably knocks itself out, I'm going to switch over to uh, probably our canine to try and destroy it. <laughs> Probably, or I could stall it out with Magmar uh, a little bit more, because I'm, I'm just basically building my arsenal here as long as I have the opportunity to do so with Kangaskhan and whatnot. Uh, double colorless energy, could I use that? I think I could use that. And Tails? Nope! <laughs> That's okay with me. Oh, retreating, really? No, oh, Gust of Wind. What you didn't do that for? Uh, I don't really think that's to your advantage, in all honesty. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's gonna do 20 damage, but, uh, and, and you don't have the chance of confusion, but still, it's Hitmonchan we're talking about here. Uh, well, well, well. Hmm. 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 Let's try a slightly risky move here. Jab! Oh, I figured because I was getting a lot of heads here. <laughs> and the plus powers actually increase the amount of damage that your um, uh, confusion damage does as well. Hence, it was, hence why it was a risky move. That one was just for fun. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really in any super danger here because our canine is just going to sweep the floor with everything he's got now. So, uh, yeah! <laughs> I will most certainly take advantage of this, too. Uh, might as well get that set up. And might as well get Rattata set up, since I have a space to evolve it now. And I suppose a Flamethrower will be good, because I'll be able to get more Fire Energy once I profess the rope, because my uh, deck is a lot more balanced, and I have a higher chance of drawing the energy that I need. Uh, gust of Winding again, huh? <laughs> Just loving those gusts. It's a very, very poor weather day out here in, on Pokemon TCG Island. <laughs> okay. Well, I might as well attack with Machop. Yeah, I'll do that. Get my sweeping going. And there we go. Then next turn, I'll just be able to use a flamethrower rather than a takedown on Jinx. So I won't have to do uh, 30 damage to myself. Uh, wow. Well, that's nice. <laughs> you know what I could do? I'll retreat to our K9. And uh, I totally forgot to evolve Raticate. I've been too focused on uh, our K9 here. And, yeah, I guess I'll get Machop ready and ready to go again. And a flamethrower for another prize card. Do -do 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 -do. Professor Oak, another one, another two in hand type situation, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And okay, I will probably want to do a takedown here just to continue my sweeping spree, so I won't need a fire energy, but I got got a fire energy, so I might as well slap that on there for the future. And take down, I take thirty, you take eighty. I don't think that's quite an even trade-off. <laughs> Alright, now it's Abra for the loss, unless he paralyzes me, which is probably what he's going for here. Oh! 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 He might stand the chance after all! <laughs> uh, even if he ends up knocking out our canine, I've got, you know, all this going on here, so I don't really think there is that big of a threat, especially when I can energy removal what he's got out now. And, uh, I'm just gonna call it a turn, I guess. <laughs> See if he gets another Psychic Energy to keep his Paralysis going here. Bill might help him, because it gives him two extra cards. Well, guess not. His Pot of Greed failed him. <laughs> guess he does not believe in the heart of the cards. Yeah! And there we go. It was mainly a stalling match on my part because I got that Kangaskhan to take advantage of early on in the game with uh, Drowsy. But hey, 
It's a strategy! It works! <laughs> and I got another booster pack loaded with energy. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we go over to a new club. Oh yeah.